Farmers and ranchers know that sound conservation practices can improve land and resources. But it's important to remember that conservation planning can also help improve profit opportunities for cattle producers. Cattleman to Cattleman reporter Brian Baxter takes us to an Idaho ranch whose partnership with NRCS has helped improve their natural resources. In the high country of southeastern Idaho, Bruce and Jenny Stanger work together to care for the land that's been in Bruce's family for generations. It's comprised of ground that was homesteaded by my great-grandfather and my grandfather Frank Stanger, and it was added to by my father Dick Stanger. We're really blessed right here in these Blackfoot Mountains by having a place that is just high enough that we get the opportunity of a good winter and summer rains and yet it's not so high that we've got a pretty decent grazing season. So I feel blessed that way. Bruce runs a commercial cow herd crossing Angus cows with Hereford bulls. One thing he enjoys is hosting visitors and showing the variety of conservation improvements he's made on the ranch in partnership with the USDA's Natural Resources Conservation Service known as NRCS. What I like about the NRCS is that I, I consider it a valuable resource and knowledgeable people that I can reach out to if I have a question about my operation that I don't particularly have a particularly good answer for. That's one place you can go. I was always really impressed with Bruce. He brought me out to his place and gave me a tour and I was really impressed with just the way he operated. His place looked really good. He always had a lot of good grass and we'd come out, um, look at his place and, and talk about our different programs, which program might benefit him the most to kind of implement his goals and get some of his cool ideas that he's wanting to get done. I, I think what I enjoyed most about today was seeing the engagement between my staff and Mr. Sanger, seeing that relationship that they've been able to establish, seeing the willingness and the passion, you know, in, in, in everyone and wanting to do the right thing out here and to do better, you know, and not just settling for what we did today. What excites me to work with people like Bruce and Bruce in particular is he takes great pride in maintaining his forge, maintaining the habitat, and this is a drought year, and this place is incredible. We have other producers that are already selling off their herds, and, and he's going to maintain. He's going to be able to graze us all summer long. Part of what's made Bruce's ranch more sustainable even in a dry year is the variety of projects he's implemented with the help of NRCS programs. For example, he's installed a watering facility to capture and hold water from a mountain spring. It includes an escape feature that helps reduce the risk of wildlife drowning. By conserving that water in that tank like that, you're conserving the whole resource. It'll give you a longer time, which means you can utilize the this, this same forage that got the most snow last winter up on the mountain. On lower ground, Bruce extended the grazing opportunities for his cattle by installing a solar-powered well feeding two stock water tanks. Our most popular program by far is the EQIP program, the Environmental Qualities Incentives Program. It's kind of our bread and butter. It's a, it's a cost share program. It's for you know guys like Bruce come in, they want to do a stock water system. We can help cost share on a stock water system. So Bruce's water system was designed because there was no electricity out here, so it was designed for solar. So he uses solar to pump up and then go into the storage tank and then it gravity down into his water troughs. It's worth it to go over there and find out what's going on because I didn't know that they would cost share a solar pump for me until I went in and asked them. The NRCS engineers came up and looked at the site and the whole design setup and everything and I did just what they said and it's worked really well. It was transformative in that place down there. I just added another month of quality feed in the fall of the year when you need it. Another NRCS program Bruce participated in is called CSP, the Conservation Stewardship Program, which includes a variety of enhancements to improve ranch resources and the health of the grasses overall. Him and his wife go out before they go into a pasture, they, they monitor and they measure their grass um, heights before they turn the cows in so they can kind of see what they have to work with. And then they, they keep track of that while the cows are in the pasture and they're able to determine when is a good time to move based on that. You traditionally learn from my father who learned it from his father, what grass is better when. Uh, but it wasn't until I, I got with Josh and working with this program 
where I actually started measuring it and monitoring the different fields. And we did that for five years, and I was really surprised of places that I didn't think were that good are actually more productive in the amount of measurable fodder that was being produced than other places. A portion of the Double Arrow Ranch property is already protected by a conservation easement, but Bruce has plans to extend the easement over the entire ranch. He's actively pursuing two or three applications in order to get the, his entire ranch covered under a conservation easement. Um, just because Idaho Falls is, is booming, people are coming in left and right, um, and this, this country is starting to get subdivided, people wanting summer homes, and so he seems to have a very big passion about keeping this place intact for, for future generations. A conservation easement on this ranch will keep it from the hands of real estate developers. <laughs> and uh, we'll keep it open. And I, li I like that. That's my idea of good. Participating in NRCS programs is a voluntary opportunity for any producer of any size available in every state. But the conservation planning and projects that aim to improve the land provide advantages that Bruce and the NRCS experts he works with believe in. All of our programs uh, start out with a plan, a conservation plan, and that's getting out on the land with the producer and, and walking the land with them and understanding what their resource needs are. Um, that's where it starts. Getting to spend time with Bruce, um, see his operation, help him whenever we can. We, all of us get into this job to help people, help the land. That's kind of one of our, our old mottos. And so it's really fun to get out and work with, work with the producers that are growing food um, for everybody and, and help them. If you ask Bruce, he says NRCS programs are a vital, vital, vital part of his operation that he couldn't do it without us. I look at my association with the people into the NRCS as being people, a resource that I can reach out to that makes my, you know, my life uh, a lot better. I don't, and I, to, I don't understand why other people would not take advantage of that. On the Double Arrow Ranch in southeastern Idaho, I'm Brian Baxter reporting for NCBA's Cattlemen to Cattlemen.